to class students, we are revising all the topics that we've done this time so far. Let's look at all these topics. Number one, we have meal planning. Ability for us to plan our food. What are those factors to consider when we are planning meals for family members? Remember, you have to take into consideration the likes and dislikes of family members. You also have to take into consideration their nutritional requirements. We also have experimental cookery. Experimental cookery talks about different types of food in our local environment. Then research into local dishes and drinks. Remember, we have some drinks in our environment that they are not that popular and they are also rich. They are nutritious, like Minusaki, we have pito, we have zobo and the likes. We have soups and stocks. We have sauce, sweet food, food preparation methods, then food presentation. After preparing your food, ability for you to present your food in a way that will attract your uh, consumer. If you prepare your food and you don't present it very well, nobody will like the food. That is about food pre uh, presentation. Then food preservation and storage. We have different types of uh, food preservation. We have uh, semi-perishable food. We have perishable food and we have non-perishable food. Perishable foods are the foods that they are high in, high in water content, like vegetables, like tomatoes, like meat and others. Then non-perishable food, they are those foods that can stay for a long period of time without getting spoiled. Also, we have convenience food. Remember convenience food? They are all those foods that have been prepared just to make cooking time faster. Let's look at a sample question that we have here to enhance our revision. Freezing temperature, what retards the action of bacteria and mold, destroy enzymes, destroy microorganisms, prevent microorganisms from growing? Look at the question, read the options very well and pick the right one. We have other questions in the classroom for us to revise with. Join me in the classroom. Thank you all.